Hey everyone, I'm Liz Fairy, and today I'm going to show you how I made these cute strawberry plant appliques. I made two different sizes of strawberry, two sizes of leaf, and a strawberry flower. Some things you'll need for this tutorial are a crochet hook, I'm using a size E, a pair of scissors, some stitch markers, I'm using these bobby pins, a yarn needle, and you'll need yarn. I'll need some red yarn for the berry. I'm using this cherry red and this wine red yarn from Red Heart Super Saver to make two different shades of berries. I need green yarn for the leaves and stems. I'll use patty green from Red Heart Super Saver and dark sage green from Karen Simply Soft to make two different shades of leaves and stems. I'm using white crochet thread for the petals. I used this white from Loops and Threads Wool Like, and I'll use yellow yarn to make a pom-pom. I used this bright yellow from Red Heart Super Saver. If you want, you could also use crochet thread for this, but I didn't have any left, so I just split apart this worsted yarn into a thinner size, which I'll show you how to do later in the video. Or if you want to make it super simple, you could just use ready-made mini yellow pom-poms. I'll try to link some in the description below. I'll start my project with the small strawberry. Using my red yarn, I'll begin by creating a slip knot. Then I'll chain one for the foundation chain. And chain one more to count as the first stitch of the row. So I'll mark that stitch with a bobby pin. And now into the second chain from the hook, I'll half double crochet one. So yarn over, pull up a loop into the second stitch from the hook, and half double crochet. Next into the same chain, I'll double crochet two times. So yarn over, pull up a loop, and double crochet, and then double crochet one more. Next, I'll half double crochet one again into the same chain. And now to make the tip of the strawberry, I'll treble crochet three times, again into the same chain. So yarn over two times, pull up a loop, and treble crochet. Then treble crochet two more times. Now to make the other half of the strawberry, I'll mirror the same thing I did on the other side. So I'll half double crochet one, double crochet two, and half double crochet one. Then chain one to count as the last stitch and slip stitch into the same chain to fasten off the yarn. Next, cut off the yarn and I'll sew in all the ends later. Next, I'll make the stem. This part doesn't have to be exact, I'm just going to pull up a bunch of loops using my green yarn into the top of my berry to make the leafy part at the top. So first, I'll pull up a loop in the top of the last stitch of the strawberry and leave the loop on the hook. Then I'll pull up a second loop in between the posts of the 10th and the 11th stitch of the strawberry, and once again leave the loop on the hook. Next, pull up a third loop in between the posts of the 7th and the 8th stitch of the strawberry and leave the loop on the hook. Also, I'll make sure to pull all these loops up to the same height. Now, I'll pull up a fourth loop in between the posts of the 2nd and the 3rd stitch of the strawberry, leave the loop on the hook, and pull up a fifth loop in the 2nd stitch of the strawberry. And now, I have five total loops on the hook. Next, to finish the stitch, I'll pull a loop through all five of the loops on the hook. Next, I'll make the stem. To do that, I'll chain 10, and then I'll cut off the yarn, 
and I'm going to leave a long tail just in case I need to change the length of the stem or sew it to another piece later. Next, I'll use the white crochet thread and a yarn needle to embroider the seeds onto the red part of the strawberry using a chain stitch. Before I do though, I'm going to lay the tails along the back of the berry, all except for the one that I just made for the stem that is, and I'm going to use a couple of bobby pins to hold them in place as I stitch. So as I embroider the seeds at the front, the stitching at the back will fasten off the tails. Then I'll stitch on the seeds using a chain stitch. Next, I'll make the larger sized strawberry. I'm going to make this one pretty much the same way as the first, except I'll be adding another row to make the strawberry bigger. I'll begin the same way I did with the smaller berry with a slip knot. Then I'll chain one for the foundation chain, and chain one more to count as the first stitch. Into the second stitch from the hook, I'm going to do the same thing that I did to make the smaller berry to make the first row. So half double crochet one, double crochet two, half double crochet one, treble crochet three, then mirror the stitches to make the other side. Half double crochet one, double crochet two, half double crochet one, and instead of chaining and slip stitching to end the berry like I did to make the smaller size, I'll single crochet one to end the row. Then chain two to be in the next row, and that's going to count as the first stitch, so I'll mark it with a bobby pin. Turn the work, then double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet three times in the next stitch to increase the stitch. Then half double crochet one, single crochet two, and double crochet three in the next stitch to increase. Then mirror the stitches on the other side. Single crochet two, half double crochet one, and double crochet three in the next stitch to increase. Then double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two to count as the last stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch to end the row. And cut off the yarn. Now 
Next, I'll make the stem the same way I did for the smaller berry, except I'll pull up more loops along the top using my green yarn. And again, this part doesn't have to be exact. First, I'll pull up a loop in the last stitch of the second row that I just made, and leave the loop on the hook. Pull up a second loop in between the posts of the 17th and the 18th stitch of row 2, leave the loop on the hook. Pull up a third loop in between the posts of the 8th and 9th stitch of row 1, leave the loop on the hook, and don't forget to pull all of the loops up to the same height. Next, pull up a fourth loop in between the posts of the 6th and 7th stitch of row 1, leave the loop on the hook. Pull up a fifth loop in between the posts of the 4th and the 5th stitch of row 1, leave the loop on the hook. Pull up a sixth loop in between the posts of the 2nd and 3rd stitch of row 2, leave the loop on the hook. And finally, pull up a seventh loop in the 2nd stitch of row 2 of the strawberry. Now there should be seven total loops on the hook. Then, pull a loop through all seven loops on the hook. Chain 10 to make the stem. Cut off the yarn, and once again I'm going to leave a long tail in case I need to adjust or sew on the stem. And just like the other strawberry, I'm going to pin down the tails with some bobby pins, and use some white crochet thread and a yarn needle to embroider the seeds onto the red part of the strawberry using a chain stitch. Now I'll make the leaves. Let's start with the small size. Using my green yarn, I'll begin with a slip knot, then chain one for the foundation chain, and then chain one more for the first stitch and mark that with a bobby pin. Now into the second chain from the hook, I'll half double crochet one, Double crochet three, half double crochet one, and then single crochet two. Next, I'll create a row of chains and slip stitches to give the leaf a serrated edge. So I'll chain two, turn the work. and then slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. Now I'll repeat that two more times. So chain two, and then slip stitch in the next stitch. Then I'll repeat that again, chain two, and slip stitch to the next stitch. And now I have three loops at the edge of this side of the leaf. Now to create a peak at the middle of the leaf, I need to create a slightly bigger chain. So I'll chain three, and slip stitch to the next stitch. Then I'll repeat the same thing on the other side, so once again I'll chain two and slip stitch to the next stitch. And repeat that two more times so that there are three loops on each side, with one slightly longer loop at the middle. Next I'll slip stitch to the foundation chain of the first row, which was the slip knot, to end the leaf and then I'll make the stem with a chain 10. And once again, I'm gonna leave a long tail in case I need to adjust the length of or sew the stem.
Now I'll make the larger leaf. I'm gonna make the larger leaf pretty much the same way as the smaller leaf, except I'll be using more and taller stitches. Using my green yarn, I'll begin with a slip knot, chain one for the foundation chain, and chain one more for the first stitch. Then into the second chain from the hook, I'll half double crochet one, double crochet one, and then I'll half treble crochet one. To half treble crochet, I'll yarn over two times as though making a treble crochet, pull up a loop and pull another loop through two of the loops on my hook. Then instead of making a full treble stitch, I'll pull another loop through the remaining three loops on my hook. And that will make a slightly shorter stitch than a treble. Now I will make three treble crochet stitches to make the middle of the leaf, so yarn over two, pull up a loop, and treble crochet. Then treble crochet two more times. Now I'll mirror the stitches to make the other side. First I'll create another half treble stitch. Then double crochet one, half double crochet one, and single crochet two. Now I'll do the same thing I did to make the serrated edge on the other leaf by adding a row of chains and slip stitches. First I'll chain two, turn the work, and slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook. Then I'll repeat that four more times, chain two, and slip stitch in the next stitch, and repeat until I have five loops at the edge on this side. Now I'll make a slightly longer chain to make the middle peak, so chain three, and slip stitch to the next stitch. Next, mirror the stitches on the other side until I get to the end of the row. Chain two, slip stitch to the next stitch, and repeat that until I've created five loops on the other side. Then I'll slip stitch to the foundation chain of the first row to end the leaf. And now I have five loops on each side with a slightly longer loop in the middle. Next I'll chain 10 to create the stem, and once again leave a long tail in case I need to adjust the length of the stem later. If you want to make even larger leaves, just use more and taller stitches at the middle of the leaf. Finally I'll make the strawberry flower. To make the petals, I'm using the same white crochet thread that I used to make the seeds on my strawberry, starting with this slip knot. First I'll chain one for the foundation chain, then chain two more for the first stitch. Next into the third chain from the hook, I'm going to double crochet three times. Then chain two to count as the last stitch, and slip stitch into the same chain to end the petal. And that's the first petal complete. Then I'll just repeat that until I have a total of five petals. So chain one for the foundation chain, and then chain two more for the first stitch. Next, double crochet three times into the third chain from the hook. Chain two to count as the last stitch, and slip stitch to the same chain to end the petal. 
You can repeat the pedal steps until you have five, six, seven, or even eight petals, depending on how many you want to make for your flower. When all the petals are made, slip stitch to the foundation chain of the first petal to join the petals in a ring. And I'm going to cut off a long tail to use to sew the pom-pom to the flower later. I'm also going to use the other tail to stitch around the bases of each petal of the flower to tighten the middle of the flower. I'm not going to sew in the ends yet though, because I want to attach the pom-pom through the middle hole first. Now I'll make the small pom-pom using my yellow crochet thread. I made this thread out of worsted weight Red Heart brand yarn by taking a small piece of the yarn, untwisting it from the middle until I could see the individual strands, and then pulling it apart into two groups of two strands each. Now to make a really tiny pom-pom, I wrapped the thread around my finger about eight times and pulled off the loop without letting it come apart. Then I cut a long strand of yellow thread, which I tied tightly around the middle of the loops that I wrapped around my finger, again being careful not to let the loops come apart. Then I cut open all those loops, fluffed up the strands, and trimmed the pom-pom, being careful not to cut off the two tail ends that I used to tie the pom-pom together, because I'll use those tails to fasten the pom-pom. Then I'll temporarily fasten the pom-pom by placing the tails through the middle of the petals. Now I'll make the stem of the flower. There's probably a couple of places that you could attach the stem, but I think it looks best to attach it onto the tails of the petal and the pom-pom before I sew them in. So I'm going to pull up a loop using my green yarn around all the tails. And chain one. Then I'll pull the tail of green yarn behind the chain stitch that I just made, so that I can work the next chain over the tail to sort of tie the stitch down to the flower. Then I'll chain 10, and now I'll cut off a long tail of yarn, again just in case I need to adjust the length of this stem later. Now I'll attach all the flower pieces together. First I'll use the yellow tails to stitch around the back of the flower a couple of times, and then I'll stitch through to the front, through the middle of the pom-pom, and then I'll stitch through the pom-pom again to fasten the yarn. Then trim the tails to the same length as the rest of the pom-pom to blend it in. And then I'll do the same thing to the other yellow tail. Next I'll sew in the white tail ends, First, I'll stitch around the yellow stitches that I just made, and then I'll sew the end into one of the petals. Now that all the white and yellow tails are sewn in, I've fastened the end of the stem down to the flower. Next, I'll sew in the green tail end closest to the flower to permanently attach the stem.
I love the way these strawberries came out. I feel like I could find all sorts of places to use these appliques. Let me know how you're going to use yours in the comments below. As always, if you made a project using this or any of my designs, I'd love to see it. You can find my social media links in the description below, or tag me on Instagram at LizFairy. If you liked this video, you could press the like button or share it on social media, and if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some cool perks from Patreon, like seeing my videos early and ad-free. You can find out more about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. Now I just need to make a bunch more and attach all the pieces together, which I'll do in my next video. I'll be using my appliques to make a lacy wall hanging, so if you're interested in seeing that process, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications every time I post. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!